Hello, and welcome to my June 2010 video blog. Or vlog. Keep forgetting to say that. Well, it's here. Summer 2010 has finally arrived. It's been a pretty good month so far. Not as difficult weather-wise as last year, where we had, I think, 20 days out of the month of June was actually rain. Now, I haven't counted it. We've had some rain this June, for sure. But I don't think it's been to the degree that it was last year. We've had some beautiful, sunny, balmy days. And there have been a lot of fireflies. If you go out and walk at night, they're all over the place, lighting up the sky like the moon. Uh, now, you know, I've been absent. And anybody watching these videos may wonder if there's, you know, been a whole lot going on with me. And in a way, there has, and there hasn't been. You know, there's a, on one of my, I think the one before my last video vlog, I actually uh, was in Florida at the time I had turned, you know, 30. And, you know, so that kind of, you know, brought a whole new dimension to my life. You know, not in the usual way, but, you know, just that, the 20s were a very interesting time, uh, uh, kind of disturbing in some ways for me. Maybe it is to a lot of other people. But, you know, I'm always glad that my birthday comes really close to the summer because to me the summer has always been a time of, you know, renewal, even more than spring. You know, the plants aren't blooming anymore, they're blossoming. The, the trees aren't necessarily pollinating anymore. They're, they're just sprawling out. Everything is literally coming to life. It's not just being born, but it's coming to life. And so I was born in the spring and my birthday's in the summer. It always feels like recharging a battery. And this year, more than anything, a big battery was recharged inside me. And I have to say that this year, maybe it was a bigger battery than I thought. Not the usual drama associated with uh, turning 30, but more or less the, the possibility that you know, the future can be a bright one. You know, even if the past had been a little difficult for some people. And, you know, a lot of reality checks come into play there, too. You know, uh, I think it was Pablo Picasso who once said that every act of creation is an act of destruction, or reverse it, I don't remember, but something like that. And, you know, Picasso was a guy who even in his paintings, you know, was always tearing himself down and putting him back up again. I mean, he painted the whole human body or the whole human face from every possible direction in his avant-garde paintings and uh, his abstract art. And, you know, I paint and sometimes I feel like life is like a big abstract painting. You know, you don't necessarily see things from just one point of view. You sometimes see them all at once. And, you know, that's where that's at. Well, enough philosophizing, you know. I just wanted to make this video to let everybody know I'm still out there. I'm still kicking. And if anybody's interested, I'll be back on hopefully a whole lot more than I've been here. So, signing out.